Hello, and welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Um, I got a uh, text message from a subscriber, uh, fellow Alliance Avenue owner, and a friend. Uh, Ed, enjoy uh, Key West. So anyway, uh, his slide ate one of his slide skis. Surprising, huh? But anyway, he wanted to know um, which one I preferred, how hard they are to fix, blah, 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 this and that. Uh, what can he do right now? So I told him to just take some duct tape, put on it, try to cut away any loose plastic, um, then put the duct tape on. And he was worried about his floor, which uh, with these slides, you have to worry about your floor. So anyway, I've been eyeing this product up for a while and I, I mentioned it to him. So it is made by AP Products and it is called the Slide Out Sled. That's the fourth time I've done this take and the first time I got it right. So it's a slide out sled. So basically what it is, you'll put this on the floor. Let's get it out of here. And your slide, where your slide ski is, will ride up onto this instead of your floor. Okay, so I got this off of Amazon. Um, it was uh 4583 the list price was fifty dollars and twenty four cents um let's get some measurements here it is overall 47 inches from end to end and it is six and seven eighths wide the uh foam pad is 43 and a quarter by six and an eighth wide and it is roughly about a half inch thick it has two uh, garments on here. Um, I haven't seen anybody mention what they use that for. I don't know if you, for securing them together or you put a rope on it to hold it or I, I don't know. I guess if uh, your slide starts to eat it, you can put a rope on here and try to yank it out or something. So anyway, when I was investigating these, I found two different types. Um, this one being with foam all on the underside, so it'll lay like this. The other one was uh, made by Lippert, and it seemed like um, all the ones I seen on Amazon was pretty much that same design. And they that was called uh, Slide, what is it? Slide Out Slicker. And they called it a carpet protector, and that's what a lot of the other ones called it also. And what it has is, on your underside, I think they had like two foam strips on the edges, and then say this part would go in to the slide and then this part here would be out on a carpet and this very end probably six inches or so they have a bunch of grippies here that would uh catch on a carpet so it doesn't slide and that's one thing i'm worried with this with this foam being so slippery is it going to slide on this floor but um i think you can use the other one for a vinyl floor um, as long as you don't get no weight here on the end where the grippies are so um, the Lippert one is 40 inches wide I mean 40 inches long by 5 inches wide it lists for $80 you gotta pay for that Lippert name and it's uh, right now it was on Amazon for $51.42 so the prices are relatively uh, comparable even the off-brand ones were all, all around $40 to $50 so that wasn't too bad. Um, this is made to go underneath where your slide skis are. But you can also, like right down here, I have a spot that every now and then I get a black spot on from the underneath of the slide. So I can go and put one of them there, and that'll help lift that slide up a little bit, and it'll slide across here, hopefully. Okay, I don't think this is a product you have to use all the time. Um, it's just one more step in your setup and tear down. Uh, who knows? I might try it here and end up using it all the time. But I think this would be a good tool to have in your uh, storage area. So just in case you did tear up a slide ski, okay, you can put the duct tape on, do whatever you have to, and then you can put this down on the floor to help protect it until you get it fixed. The same as if, um, let's say your slide ski came apart on the one corner. Okay, you can put this down, it's gonna protect your floor. The most, infor most important thing is to protect your floor. You don't wanna ruin that because it's a lot harder to fix and probably a lot more expensive. So 
this has been in my shed. Um, it's November in Pennsylvania. It's cold here. So it's pretty cold. I'm going to flatten it out, let it warm up, and then we will come back and do a uh, test on it to see how it works. So I'm just curious if this is going to really stick to the floor or not. Might have to get some Dyson or something to help hold it there. So, all right, we'll be back in a little bit once this uh, straightens out and warms up, and uh, we'll try it out. See you in a bit. Okay, I was going to let this warm up um, to ambient temperature in here, but I figured if you store these outside and it's cold and you got to use it, so let's use it cold. I did, I did straighten it out a little bit, so let's put it down here and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, I don't know if that is supposed to be like this or if you cut it off. I, look, I looked online again while I was letting this heat up for a little bit, but I couldn't find any information. I went to AP Products website. Um, they just have a very brief description. There's no reviews, so I may actually post this on here as their first review. But um, yeah, it doesn't say to cut it, um, cut that tab end off, but it looks to me... It looks to me like with this angled like this, it'll hit your floor pan, pan and maybe stop it from pulling back in. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll bring the slide in. We'll see what happens. I'm going to have my lovely assistant push my buttons. Okay, run it in back. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it is pushing it. So, as you can see here, it pushed it in about two, two and a half inches. But after the uh, weight got on it, it seems like it did stop. Okay, I would say that's a semi success. So let's run it back out and see what happens. I'm curious here. Okay, so far it's not pulling it back, which is good. Okay. All right, so let's do it again. I'm going to put my foot on it to hold it. Go ahead. Okay, I got my foot on it, and it did push it up a little bit here, you can see. But it only, it only came back a little bit. So I'm going to take my foot off and let it ride. All right, let's run her back out. Okay, all in all, I think that was a success. It did push it out a little bit, but if uh, you hold your foot there um, just to get it started, it's not pushing it once it gets some weight on it. That's what I was worried about, that once the weight got on there, it would just push the uh, sled with it. So I mentioned before that I have uh, black marks in, in towards the center. We're going to put this in the center and see how it works there. Okay, we're just going to tuck this back underneath. Hopefully she'll stay. I usually get black marks right around in here. It's not every time, but every now and then I do get the, uh, I don't know what kind of coating they put on there. It's not tar, but um, that's, that's what it looks like. So what I could do is I could cut this to length 
to fit down here and then rest up onto the island. So, matter of fact, you might, no, that's just the way it is. So we're, we're just going to try it here for right now and see what happens. I may go ahead and just cut one to length to fit in there and use it all the time just because it is uh, every now and then leaving black marks on the floor. Go ahead, Beck. I'm curious if it's going to push it or not. Yes, it's pushing it, so I, I just put my foot on it. That's all. And I took my foot off, and it's not pushing it anymore. All right, let's take it back out and see if it gets eaten. Show here to see if it moves. And it has not moved. It moved a little bit when it initially uh, she was bringing it in, but I put my foot on it. Okay, I think I think the reason we're getting the black marks is sometimes we'll put uh, cases of water, cases of pop, and this slide is so long that it's going to bow a little bit. So I think that's where the black marks are coming in. But I do believe this would work pretty good. I just cut it to length, and it's going to be up against the island. It's not going to move. As far as on the sides, I, th I think it did a good job. You know, it, it did move, but uh, you'd need something real sticky here so it wouldn't move. Okay, so my overall opinion of this is, do you need it? No, you, you don't. You don't need it unless you are having problems. But I, I would, I would like to have one just or two, just on hand, just in case you do have an issue. This will protect your floor, guaranteed. This will protect it. So all in all, I, I give it a thumbs up. What do you think, Beck? She said thumbs up. She don't know. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I if I if I ever get the extra money, I'm gonna get the Lippert one just to compare them, just to see how they work. And uh, yeah, but all in all, I think this is something you should have in your arsenal for just in case. For fifty dollars to save your floor, I think it's pretty good. And if you want to just use them all the time as a precautionary measure, I think it's good too. So all right, so once again, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye. You want this? No, that was a close shot. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> but it looks to me. It looks to oh, 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 wrong hat. But I see this product that I've been curious about. Um Lippert, there's basically...